from the guitar show thanks for tuning in today we're going to be looking at the master's pedal board when I say the master I mean the master that is Raikuda uh, Raikuda is an amazing musician and he is the best slide guitar player in the world um, at this moment and amongst and many other things he's just a great musician great guy he was into the tone thing you know really high-end tone stuff before any of us were you know um, we sort of got into it a lot of us myself included got into it from the gear page you know when that forum started and this was a guy that was doing stuff in the 70s and the 80s you know he was touring with Neve consoles you know like Neve preamp consoles that's how into gear he was so he was just really into amazing amps you know pickups gold foils you know he, he was really responsible for bringing the whole gold, gold foil pickups back into use um, from the 60s from cheap guitars so this is a guy that is you know he's like 73 I think 72 73 years old and when I saw him earlier this year in London I was I've got to say it's probably the best guitar tone I've ever heard you know and you know from this channel I'm into great tone people you know and but Raikuda I think just tops them all he's he's he, he was just playing clean, it's, he wasn't playing any flashy solos, it was just clean and beautiful. So we're going to look at his pedal board today and see if we can get close. We're not going to get close because we don't have his fingers, you know, but we're going, to, we're going to try and get his sound at least, okay? So let's have a look at this pedal board, it's really cool. Um, what I've got for you today is um, four pedals which kind of replicate a little bit of his pedal board. I'm going to flash up on the screen his actual pedal board and let's just go through his signal chain and what he's using. So. As we can see here in, the, in this um, photo, he's using a Crucial Audio Echo Nugget. This is a, a really amazing delay unit. Um, I haven't got one yet, but I've got an order in. Um, this has basically got two preamp tubes. Um, it's an expensive unit, but it's kind of like an echo drive. I don't know if you know the echo drive, that's also very good. So it's kind of an analog tubey sort of delay. Um, then that's, after that it goes into the Black Fountain which is made by Old Blood Noise Endeavours. This is, I think this is a new um, sort of um, pedal and this is kind of harking back to, again um, to the 60s I think with the oil can sort of delays um, and the Hammond, I think they were used with Hammond organs and stuff. So this kind of pedal really replicates that, it's got some modulation, lots of different um, effects and so forth. Um, and then we're going to go into the Quicksilver. This is a really important delay for everything, as you're going to hear. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you about my own gear setup. The guitar I'm playing today is a replica of Raikuda's guitar. It's got an original 50s Supro, and it's got a 60s original Tiesco pickup. It's an MJT body, it's got an ESP Navigator neck. I'm going through a Filmer Sound EL84 amplifier, which was modded by Bill Crenard, and Bill Crenard is a guy who um, set up and created the company called Two Rock. Okay, so let's have a look at my own setup today. So first of all, on my right, I'm using a Soft 2 Overdrive, which was designed by Yuki, who's a great engineer and pedal designer from Free The Tone, and they're based out in Japan. This is actually my favorite overdrive pedal. It's pretty similar in a way to sort of a boutique TS9 sort of pedal, or even a bit of a Klon sort of style, um, and I know Raikud is using the Archer. So we're gonna kind of use it in that kind of situation. Okay, so I don't have the Echo Nugget pedal. That's quite expensive. I'm on the waiting list, but I don't actually have it at the moment. So, a really good alternative is the Free of Turn Future Factory. This is an incredibly versatile pedal. You can pretty much get any sound out of this. Um, I've got it set as a slapback now, so I'm just going to demonstrate that. Um, we've actually got some soft clipping here as well, just to sort of maybe replicate a bit of a, an analog 
sort of a preamp sort of sound, so from a tube like the Echo Nugget has. So this is, let's have a look at the clean sound first. So let's just put this on. doing is just giving us a bit of a slap back and it's taking the attack really off of the, the note so it's not so harsh. So if I play that without you can hear. So one thing to know about especially about these old pickups and the Supros is they can really push out some highs on some of the strings and the other strings are a little bit more mellow so it's a little bit uneven so just having that slap back kind of evens out things and just takes that harshness out of the, the sort of the note. Sort of adds a little bit of a reverb as well. So I'm going to take this off just to show you the black um, fountain. So this is actually used in a really subtle way. So if I just put the mix up first of all you can see this pedal has a kind of doubling effect almost sort of like that Beatles sort of um, double tape sort of uh, technique settings here we've got another setting which is a vintage setting and then we've got sort of that was it was on the organ first let's put it on the top one which is the modern setting so if I put it more in the mix I'll put it halfway So again, it just kind of adds a bit of a doubling sort of effect. And Raikuda has this really low, as you can see in the sort of photos, he writes that pretty low, so. Let's just take it off. apparent it's just adding a little bit of avenue. We're going to play a little bit more actually than he would. I think he has this mix pretty much all the way down to zero. So these two pedals are off. Let's just try the Quicksilver now. So this is a really beautiful um, pedal. It comes with a long and short delay and I've noticed in lots of photos from Raikuda's sort of tours and of his pedal board that this is kind of there's no sort of standard setting for this pedal he seems to sort of tweak it quite a lot so you'll kind of get the idea when I if I play some staccato notes so you can kind of see that there it's, it's got a lot of ambience so maybe we can turn repeat it down just a touch
can see there it's got some beautiful sort of tones, which is not, you know, sometimes when uh, I hear a lot of delays and I'm, I'm guilty of this myself, I kind of put a lot of hi-fi repeats and ambience, but this has just got the kind of right amount of sort of ambience and it's got some modulation kind of wobble, which is this type. Sometimes I've noticed Rikuda has that completely off. Um, so you, you can kind of tweak that kind of wobble effect on there, but it just gives a, a real kind of... see if let's put them all on okay so let's put the the kind of the first which is the kind of analog tubey thing we're going to put the um, oil can um, delay on which just adds a bit of extra ambience so let's try all three pedals at once first of all we're going through the free the tone pedal which is giving us some analog slap back then the black fountain which is giving us the oil can ambience and then we're going to go for the quicksilver which is giving us that beautiful kind of repeats and longer delay so let's try this Okay, so you can see that it's got a beautiful shimmer. Um, it's just a really, really nice sound, especially with the slide. You can really get some beautiful sort of sounds. So it kind of like sits, you know, you, it never gets too harsh and it kind of sits behind the notes. Now this is really cool when we want to go to overdrive and we're going to go on this back pickup now. setup is you get this kind of sun studio sort of slapback thing but also a little bit of a repeat so that you can get a real kind of groove going so I'll give you an example of that Thank you. 
So lastly, I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of this guitar here, which is a Guy Tone from 1965, and this is actually the type of guitar exactly the same type that Raikuda used on my favourite album called Mambo Sinuendo, one of my favourite albums. And uh, so I'm going to play you some kind of Mark Ribbit, Mark Ribbit style um, sort of Cuban music, which um, is kind of a similar thing to what Raikuda does, and you'll just see how this is in, in drop D tuning. <laughs> but how it kind of reacts with this sort of style of guitar. It's a really beautiful sound, so. Okay, so I hope that's given you uh, sort of a, a clear idea of how Raikuda sets up his pedals. I um, hope that that's given you some inspiration. You don't need to have exactly the same guitars. Um, you don't need to go all the way like I've done here with these guitars and some of his pedals. You don't have to do that. You know, you just have, you know, because um, some delays obviously do two delays, so you could set. Um, and in fact, the free of tone delay here does two delays at the same time, so you could do away with one of the uh, delay pedals. But hopefully that just gives you sort of an um, inspiration of you know, like a master of kind of great tone, um, as Raikuda is, how he sort of made these delays work for him. And, you know, I know that sometimes you want to go out there with no pedals, that's really cool, but sometimes it's nice to have a bit of help, a bit of ambience from some some pedals. And I think with delays, you know, how Raikuda is using them instead of reverbs, it's a really interesting thing. So hopefully that's going to be of use to some of you guys. Please leave some comments if you um, if you want to make some suggestions. Maybe I've got some things wrong, or you're really interested in some of the settings here on the guitars or whatever. Leave some comments and uh, please subscribe. I've got to say that I guess. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Please uh, tune in to other videos. Thank you very much.